Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today we're going to talk about my Fluke 376 True RMS clamp meter. I've had this meter for quite some time now. Uh, way over, what, I guess you want to say maybe close to 10 years probably. If not, uh, if not 10 years, probably close to it. Uh, this is one of the first models that came out after they discontinued. Uh, Fluke discontinued selling the Fluke 337 series they came out 376 and as you see this this one that does that don't have the fc the flu connect uh but this is when they first introduced the uh, iflex that's that that's this cable right here on the end on the on the uh, on the left hand side of the screen and what that does it um it raises the measurement as far as amperage is concerned uh to i think like 2000 amps and not to mention the safety uh, from not you having to stick your head inside of the panel just to read the disc, uh, the screen and you know, read the measurements. So I think the cable itself is something like three feet, 36 inches long. And uh, that's a nice safety feature, I, I think. Uh, so, and also um, this meter is, 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 has a lot of features that I'm well pleased with and a lot of features that um, the Flute 337 doesn't have. And the only feature that this meter has that's, that doesn't have that the, the newer flukes with the FC has is uh, it doesn't have Fluke Connect, but everything else is uh, identical. Now, let me introduce you to some of the features. Okay, here we go. All right, let's, it has volts AC, volts DC, uh, millivolts, uh, resistance, Continuity, capacitance, hertz, AC amps, AC, I mean a DC amps, and uh, iFlex it also has the uh, hertz and amps at the top up here. That's for the, the, the feature here at the top up here. That's for when you want to use that and you want to, uh, you know, raise your measurements of that, uh, uh, equip the, the unit to uh, take measurements much higher measurements for amp measurements. Below here is the inrush button, the soft keys, the middle button is min-max, and the one on the far right of it is the backlight, which is, let me turn it back on, the backlight. Now, it's um, on the side here, it's, I won't, it's, I would say it's evenly lit, I do, I, uh, but uh, they do have some on the market that's, that's much better than this. Like, for example, uh, Ampro has one that's better lit than this. Uh, Klein has one that's much better lit than uh, the Fluke. Also, uh, I think it's the UEI and uh, I say Ampro, uh, and uh, the Southwire has one that's much better lit than this is. Now, the old uh, clamp meter by Fluke before they made this one, uh, the 337, it had a, a green backlight, greenish yellowish backlight, but it was evenly lit all the way around. And so, uh, but, and then they start coming up with this, the white backlight, LED backlight. Now, um, the test leads over here, these are not the test leads that came with this, um, this meter, but they are Fluke test leads. It just have a higher a higher quality. They they're much more flexible, and I'm able to switch out the accessories like the probe. I could connect uh, like alligator clips to them and plungers, you know, things like that. Uh, you know, so um, uh, as far as the as far as the probes, the fuse probes. These are some nice fuse probes. Um, you know, I, I I chose these for safety. You know, that's why uh, I only use these on most of my test instruments. Now, uh, they don't have a back, uh, not the back, the flashlight like most of the meters on the market have today. But still, um, they this is a very nice, very nice uh, clamp meter. The side right here it has a hole button, and they don't no use looking in the back because they have they don't have anything in the back like. Uh, I want to say anything like you know port to the whole of meter like some of the ideal or client have port, uh, a feature on the side of the clamp that you can stick the probe in uh, this one don't have that 
but this meter meet, is highly accurate. Uh, it has a um, very high safety rating, like most of, uh, or should I say, all of Luke uh, test instruments. So, uh, you know, I, I do feel safe using this meter, and uh, you know, I can, you can almost bet your last dime that, you know, whatever you're testing, uh, this meter gonna give you an accurate reading. Now, um, let me see what else. They, let me see. Hold on one second, just to show you this. This is the back part of it, right? The back side of it. There's nothing here that's, it takes two. That's, that's all the safety, uh, TUV, CSA, and all of them on the back. Um, now, Fluke, it's been around for a long time, and um, hold on a minute. I'm trying to turn my turn my other cell phone off because it keeps going off for some reason. People are calling. Now, anyway, uh, like I say, I'm well pleased with this this clamp meter. Uh, those of you, uh, some of y'all might even have this clamp meter, so um, and you can uh, attest to what I'm saying. You can agree on what, what I'm saying about this clamp meter. Um, I, don't, I don't find anything wrong with it. Do I want to get a Fluke uh, Clamp 376 uh, FC? Uh, yeah, yeah, and no, because I don't really do any data logging with you know with with my meters. I just have, if I can write the write it down a measurement, I'll do so. But I don't want to pay them an extra five, six hundred dollars just for an FC Connect, and I don't use it. Uh, but um, this is my, like I said, this is my number one meter that I go to, and I've had it for quite some time. And uh, it take, I take care of it, and it takes care of me. So, uh, guys, not to hold you long, but I do want to ask you, guys, this is your first time viewing my channel, viewing my, my channel. I want you to support my channel. I'm asking to do that. Because uh, if you saw one of my other videos and you're watching this one, evidently you like what I'm putting out. So in support of the town channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the, the bell icon that's right on the side of it. And uh, when that window opened up, hit all. That'll put you in rotation of all my future videos and all of my past videos as well. Uh, hit the like button. And if you know somebody who can benefit from watching one of my vid videos, share it. And all of that is for free, what I'm asking you, and it's in support of the channel. Uh, so, uh, I want to tell you thank you. As always, I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. And uh, there are more videos coming. So, until then, until we meet here again, I want to tell you guys thank you. Take care. Later.